I've come to realize that I'm an information source. I'm the guy who takes the time to read the books, to come to an understanding of what the science is all about, and then I share that information with you so that you don't have to read the books. And what you're hoping I will do is give you the right answers so you can make good investment decisions. And you either come to respect my knowledge and my experience, or you reject it. Uh, roughly 160,000 people have subscribed and seem to accept or at least are willing to listen. Why do I do this? Number one, I do it because I have a passion to find a cure for cancer because my mother died of cancer and my daughter died of cancer. That's why I do it. That's why I do the research. Why do I then do the YouTube channel? Uh, I enjoy it. I enjoy making the videos. I've come recently to enjoy making the thumbnails. I feel I'm a creator. I, I, I paint. I, I'm involved in photography. I like to create. I'm taking a lot of pride in some of the, the, um, the thumbnails that I've created, particularly this one for the today. I, I really think I have... I have hit on it. So that's why I do this. Why do you do it? You hope I can help you make good investment decisions. And I am a shortcut, hopefully, to you making money. So we all know where we stand. Um, I've done some additional research on the CRISPR stocks. And that's what I want to share with you today. I want to share with you the sources uh, so that you can then go check them out and help you make decisions. I have come down to the five stocks in the CRISPR category. I'm going to give you some information on why I've chosen them and the order that I rank them and what I'm going to be doing relative to purchases in the future. So that's what this video, video is all about. I'm Kerry Grinkmeyer. I'm a retired financial advisor, and uh, I'm not here to give you financial advice. I'm merely here to help educate you so that you can make a good financial decision. So let's get rid of this disclaimer, and then let's get at it. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. I want to emphasize early on that I am a source of knowledge for you. Take it for what it's worth. I want you also to consider using um, Seeking Alpha. They are a tremendous source of knowledge. They are a place I go to every day for multiple needs for helping me make good investment decisions. And I'd suggest you subscribe to them and do the same. Okay, this is the rankings of the stocks that I find I want to invest in in this category. What I'm showing you here on this chart is Beam, uh, Intella, CRISPR, Editus, and Caribou. I'm then showing you the market cap of each of those, uh, the current price, the number of shares I own, the current value of those shares that I own, which totals $66,000, and then my five-year projection. My five-year projection is merely a 20x. I honestly believe some of them will exceed that substantially. Uh, it doesn't mean a lot for Editus at a 20x to go to $200. It, I think it's quite possible. Uh, so with that in mind, then, I want to give you some ideas of why I have ranked them as they are. Beam owns base editing. This is the primary method by which CRISPR works, and they own it. So they will be licensing it to anybody, any of the other four, if they choose to use it, or any of the other, oh, I guess it's probably a t about 20 uh, uh, companies that are in this space pre-IPO. If they want to get a leg up, they're going to have to deal, and they want to do base editing. They're going to have to 
come to an agreement with Beam. Um, Intella, Intella is the stock that uh, I rank number two, and it is that is because they are the furthest along. They have cured some people of liver disease uh, through um, in, uh, through intravenous uh, through the vein injections of in liver disease and they are a gene it's a genomic disease um editus is my our crispr is my number three crispr is the furthest along on sickle cell and has is doing all some some work in cancer and um that is the home of uh emmanuel carpentier she is the uh part Pulitzer Prize winner, so they have a lot of knowledge behind, and they are they are one of the two furthest along in the, in the future. The furthest along is Editus, um, and yet I have it ranked number four. That's because Editus has a history of turnover. They've had, I think, they're on their fourth CEO who is just starting a young man and. Um, they, they, but the other thing that they hold is the patent rights. Uh, they have been fighting in the courts since I believe it was uh, about 2014 as to who owns the, the patent rights uh, on, on, on this, whether it's Editus or one of the other companies. Um, and Editus has won, but the fight isn't over yet. So whatever happens any work that any of these people use uh, that involves CRISPR-Cas9, Editus is going to collect a royalty. So that's why Editus is in my fourth place. And in fifth place is Caribou. Caribou is new to it. This is uh, one of the endeavors of Jennifer Doudna. And that is uh, the lady pictured on this book. Code breaker. She has some other IPOs or pre-IPOs that she is working on, um, but that's how I rank them. As you look at their market caps, you're going to see some large disparity. Uh, I believe Caribou is a real potential for a buyout. What do I mean by that? I mean that some pharmaceutical company, and Caribou does have some strong relationships with pharmace other pharmaceutical companies, um, somebody's probably going to put some money on the table and buy them and then take their science and do the best with it. If Editus doesn't get its act together, the same thing might happen there. So that's the order in which I hold them. What I'm recommending to you is as this market has gone down, their values have gone down as well. On the far right, you will see how far their values are down in the last year, uh, ranging from a high of, what, 69% down on Editus and, and a low of 49% in Caribou. So if you have an interest in this space, I would highly encourage you uh, to, to start buying into it as you can. I don't think there is any doubt that this science will be a major part of our world. I don't think there is any doubt that as artificial intelligence steps into this space, as the pharmaceutical companies step into this space, this is going to explode. And a 20X is quite reasonable on many of these stocks. Now, as I have shared my sources of information in books, and I know a lot of you aren't going to read them, I'm going to encourage you to go and, and find this YouTube channel um, that is Investors in CRISPR. Um, down here, I'm going to put in the, uh, subs uh, the, the description a link to this video. This is about a 55-minute video, and this young man will take you through the science. Then he will take you individually through each company, and he will, and again, rank them as he sees them fit. He has about two other companies that he follows that I am not 
interested in at this time. They haven't proven to me that they are going to be players. So with that in mind, I encourage you to educate yourself on genome sequencing, genome editing, and understand what CRISPR is all about. Go to this web, this YouTube channel. He also has a Discord. He also has a website. You'll learn about it in the, in the video. But if this is a space you want to be in and you don't want to spend the time reading all the books and coming to understand the science, this young man will help you tremendously. Okay? Uh, CRISPR Investors, I believe, is what the, the, uh, the name of the channel is. Again, you'll find it in the link or in the description. So the other thing I want to invite you to do is share your knowledge with me and my tribe. We are a collection of people that get together on a regular basis, on a daily basis, and discuss issues just like this. Some of these stocks, Beam in particular, was brought to my attention through my tribe. Um, I, I am... Every Friday, we have an open meeting through Zoom, and questions are asked, and we share our knowledge. And then every day, we actually do it through the, uh, the Discord function. So that's my take. Those are the companies I recommend if you want to be a part of this space. I believe it is a easy uh, 20x, probably within the next two to three years, and maybe beyond that. Some of these, think about it. Um, it, it compare what the, the value added to your life on an electric vehicle or taking cancer, heart disease, uh, Alzheimer's, dementia, Parkinson's out of your bloodline. Uh, I don't think there's a better investment opportunity and when you add to this science gene or um, artificial intelligence, machine learning, and quantum computing, this is going to change your world. This is going to change how mankind moves through the life cycle. Music